What is going on, Outlaws? Once again, Michael or Legacy LegacyKillGD back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you. And we have some huge information coming directly from Rockstar Games to discuss and break down. They've revealed a ton of new information on RDR2 and also given us some new images to discuss. So if you are not already subscribed, make sure to consider doing so as I am your best source for everything RDR2. Also, make sure to get geared up for this upcoming Western by getting the popular the Red Moon or Wanted shirt designs. If you're interested in getting these Red Dead themed t-shirts or any of the other designs, there will be a link in the description. But I mean, we got a ton of information to go over. Now on the official Rockstar page, they say, today we're pleased to announce details of the special edition and ultimate edition of Red Dead Redemption 2, along with pre-order bonuses for all three versions and a unique assemblage of real-world collectibles inspired by the game. All pre-orders of Red Dead Redemption 2 will include this pair of story mode enhancements, which is, as I discussed the other day, which was accidentally leaked by Microsoft Warhorse. The handsome, iron-gray colored Ardenes Warhorse can always be relied on in the heat of the battle, with greater courage and and stamina than the average steed. This is a horse that knows how to keep its head under fire, my favorite horse and mount in Red Dead Redemption. And then we also have the Outlaw Survival Kit. The Outlaw Survival Kit contains a collection of key supplies for enduring the rigors of life on the frontier, including items to replenish health, Deadeye, and more. Now, digital pre-order bonuses will include a cash bonus for Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode. The Vanderlyn gang is always looking for ways to make more money and bring in new supplies. This in-game cash bonus will give Arthur Morgan enough to buy a weapon, some food, a handful of useful items, and ammunition. The treasure map, secret buried treasure, can be found throughout the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. This exclusive treasure map for story mode will give Arthur a head start on the hunt for hidden riches, must pre-order by July 31st, 2018. And there is an image given of Warhorse, and he does look very badass. I love this picture of him. Looks a little different than what we had in Red Dead Redemption, but either way, like, like I said, my favorite mount. But now we get into the details on the special edition, and again, Rockstar has provided some more images. We get a look at a bank robbery mission and gang hideout. We get a look at another horse. Then we also have a Nuevo Paraiso gunslinger outfit. I do find that interesting because it doesn't appear that Mexico is a part of Red Dead Redemption 2. Like I said, I thought that leaked map wasn't fully accurate, and I kind of hope that we do have returning parts of Mexico, so I'm not sure. Anyway, we also get a look at some other things. We have the volcanic pistol being used by Arthur Morgan that was shown in one of the leaked images. And then we also see him hunting, and I believe that is him holding an elk over his shoulder. And then we get a look at the talisman and medallion gameplay bonuses, which you can see on his shoe. Either way, very cool stuff and this is just for the special edition. Now fortunately we do have a description for all of this. We have the bank robbery mission and gang hideout in story mode get exclusive access to a bank robbery mission in which Arthur and a couple of his fellow gang members come up with a daring plan to break in and rob the bank in the southern town of Rhodes. Elsewhere the Del Lobos gang has taken over a hacienda, clear this gang's hideout and rob their stash for a lucrative take. The dappled black thoroughbred, this thoroughbred racehorse horse sporting a beautiful reverse dappled black coat will keep you at the front of the pack with its exceptional speed and acceleration. You will also get the exclusive Nuevo Paraiso saddle, handmade in dark chocolate leather with silver medallion detailing. This horse and saddle are available in Red Dead Redemption 2 story mode, so it does look like we are going to be able to customize how our horse is loaded up with our saddle. I kind of do wonder what the difference is in saddles and how that's going to be. Then we also have the talisman and medallion gameplay bonus these special story mode items will give Arthur a helping hand whenever they are equipped. Attaching the Eagle Talon Talisman to his boot, Arthur's environmental awareness skill will last longer. By carrying the Iguana Scale in his personal satchel, Arthur will take less damage while riding on horseback. And again, this goes to customization. I do wonder how much of Arthur Morgan's uh, look we'll be able to customize and what the differences will be. Like, will we be able to customize his shirt, his hat, and everything about his look? That's something that we weren't really able to do in Red Dead Redemption, and I was kind of hoping that in Red Dead Redemption 2 we'd have much more customization with the look of our character. Now, gameplay boosts, cash bonuses, and discounts. The collection of exclusive story mode boosts, bonuses, and discounts will help Arthur to survive out in the harsh wilderness and better provide for his gang members and their camp. The core stat boost benefits Arthur's stamina, health, and Deadeye cores. Earn more cash during robbery missions.
commissions with the Vanderlyn gang and when hunting and selling animal carcasses. Receive discounts on all upgrades to the Vanderlyn's gang camp. And then obviously the Nuevo Paraiso Gunslinger outfit. This exclusive story mode outfit for Arthur is inspired by the clothing worn by the Vakeros, and you guys know how my uh, pronunciation is, it's not very on point, and Banditos south of the border. The outfit features a wide-brimmed black cowboy hat, deep indigo coat, worn denim chaps, leather gloves, and boots. And then we also have free access to additional weapons. A good range of weapons is essential for survival in the Old West. Get access to three weapons at the in-game gunsmith in story mode. The robust volcanic pistol, devastating pump-action shotgun, and versatile Lancaster Varmint rifle. And obviously I believe that's our first time seeing or hearing that new weapon, the Lancaster Varmint rifle. And the Red Dead Redemption 2 Special Edition is available for pre-order on the PlayStation Store, the Xbox Store, and the Rockstar warehouse and at the other select retailers. And next we have is the Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Edition and we get a look at a few other images. Not much to say about these. We also get a look, another look at another rifle. We get a look at, I believe that's Arthur Morgan in a different outfit and just a few other nice images. But it said the Red Dead Redemption 2 Ultimate Edition delivers all the story mode content from the special edition plus additional bonuses for online including bonus outfits. Get two exclusive outfits to your online character. The Black Rose Bounty Hunter outfit features a long oxblood colored coat, a vest with gold pocket watch chain, and dark pants tucked into chocolate leather boots. The Copperhead Enforcer outfit features a fur-lined saddle brown leather waistcoat, two-tone gloves, and pinstripe black pants tucked into black leather boots. Then we also have the Black Chestnut Thoroughbred. Outrun the competition with this thoroughbred racehorse in a striking black chestnut coat, and also receive the exclusive High Plains Cutting saddle beautifully crafted in jet black leather with gold metal ascents. This horse and saddle are available in online. Then you also have free access to the survivor camp theme. Customize your own personal camp in online with free access to the survivor theme. And then you have free access to additional weapons, get access to the volcanic pistol, pump action shotgun, and Lancaster varmint rifle free of charge from gunsmiths in online. And then rank bonuses. As a great start for the ultimate edition players, you can rank up fast and online up to rank 25. And then some other things I did not mention is that you get a different cover for the game, obviously saying the Ultimate Edition, and then we get the Steelbook, which I'm guessing is the art book, which has all the images and behind the scenes stuff for Red Dead Redemption 2. And then guys, we're still not done. Uh, no matter which version you choose, all digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store or Xbox Store will receive an immediate infusion of Grand Theft Auto money to their Maze Bank accounts in Grand Theft Auto Online. And you see the different money amounts on the screen. And then we finally get details on the Collector's Box, something that a lot of us have been waiting to hear about. And I'm kind of surprised there's actually not a um, revolver or anything like that. But what is included is a metal tithing box with a lock and key ins inspired by the lockbox used by the Vanderlyn gang to stash contributions to the camp's upkeep. This thick gauge metal box includes a lock and a key and features black metal band detailing and an engraved Cornwall freight and commodities plaque. And then we also have the collectible challenge coin featuring the majestic American buffalo on one side and a scenic landscape on the other side. This engraved gold colored collectible coin comes in a magnetic presentation holding with a black engraved plaque describing the history of this endangered species. Then we also have the double-sided puzzle. This double-sided 100-piece wooden jigsaw puzzle features an illustrated view of the bustling port of St. Denis on one side and a classically inspired Rockstar Games logo on the reverse. And just to quickly go through some of the other things included, we have a six-shooter bandana, a staple for any frontier outlaw, and I completely agree with that, a treasure map printed on durable unrippable paper. This exclusive treasure map reveals the location of some buried treasure that may start Arthur on a search for more riches hidden throughout the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. A pin set, this set of six individual pins, including representation of key weapons from Red Dead Redemption 2, including a shotgun, revolver, and dead 
X marker, and then we have playing cards, the Wheeler, Rossin, and Co. catalog, the one-stop shop for everything from weapons to clothing, the Wheeler, Rossin, and Co. catalog is an essential shopping tool for turn-of-the-century life. This complete 150-page book is a replica of the edition found in stores throughout Red Dead Redemption 2, and then we have 12 cigarette cards. These beautifully illustrated collectible cards can be found throughout the world of Red Dead Redemption 2. The physical collection includes one select card from each set, like famous gunslingers and outlaws, stars of the stage, and marvels of travel and locomotion. And those are all the different editions of Red Dead Redemption 2. And it seems to be if you just want story mode stuff, you'd probably be best to go with the special edition. And then the ultimate edition includes all the online stuff. I'm not exactly very crazy about how they're handling the online stuff, just because I think that's going to bring immediate concerns of uh, pay to win. If you get what I mean with, I guess you can rank up with a gameplay boost. That's going to be something that a lot of people will be discussing. But uh, hey, special edition seems to be the way I'll be going and the collector's box does seem very interesting so make sure to let me know down in the comment section below what you're interested in but we finally got new details on a lot of different things and some new images we got to look at some different types of horses saddles and weapons i think that's very cool and i do wonder when rockstar games is going to speak about red dead redemption 2 next maybe that'll be later this month or in early july when we first see gameplay something that we've not seen yet and i think that has to be what's next anyway guys a lot was revealed. Let me know down in the comment section below what interests you the most. But thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy this video or found any informative value. And consider subscribing for more videos like this. And remember, Outlaws to the end.